All right, so take two here. Got a bunch of parts here. I got uh, some windshield wipers I'm gonna put on there. I've got a, uh, this is for the back of the driver's seat. It's like these little rubber bumpers that keep the seat back from going back really far. So I got these guys. And then I just got a whole bunch of these like little rubber pieces. Like this one here is for the uh, antenna, like where the antenna meets the body. So I'll pull the antenna off and, you know, and then there's ones here for rubber pieces, just all around the car for the different lights, for the different locks, stuff like that. So here's one here for the mirror. So when I get those new mirrors, I'll put the new rubbers on, but um, yeah, man. So that's where I'm at. It's in the garage now and. I'm going to start tinkering on it and putting a few videos up of uh, different things I'm doing. So, yeah, I mean, I'll probably get in here and start polishing some of this chrome up or seeing what needs replaced or whatever. But um, you know how chrome is. You put a little polish on it, it'll come up looking really nice. So um, I've got a, uh, you know, this is a little concerning. I noticed this recently, some of this kind of crap. So, um, I've got a, already got a, um, an appointment to get the transmission leak looked at. You can see out here on the driveway, there's a spot here. It's obviously transmission fluid. Um, and the guy told me that he said that it had a slow leak that if you don't drive it, the gasket will dry out and, uh, it'll start leaking a little bit so and uh another cool thing is you know i told you guys i wasn't thrilled about these valve covers and stuff you know they got those stupid flames on them and that um but my pop you know he had a, um or has it's still down at their house it's a 95 mustang which was the last year of the 5.0 which is the three 302 motor and uh i'm going to uh he's got a he's got two sets of valve covers for that 302 motor that'll work on this and they're really cool so that'll make me feel good to put a couple pieces that my pop had see i mean look at this on the door right here you know but at least that gives me some history of what the i think the car was originally red or something you know uh but this is going to be cool, guys, you know, working on this thing. I mean, look at this hood, dude. Look at this hood. It is beat up. But when I got my dad's tools, man, um, one of the cool things I got, you know, like this is one of his old toolboxes here. I mean, check this, check this shit out. Look at this. These are... Um, hammers and dollies this is all bodywork stuff so this is like one of those you know you put it on the metal and then you you know and this is like one of those dent puller thingies and stuff and he's got a set of these and so he's got some bodywork stuff here that uh i'm gonna mess around with see if i can get some of those dents out of that sucker myself i've never really messed with that stuff but i think it'll be fun so yeah, man. So cool, guys. Well, that's the update for now. Um, I'll keep you posted. I think next thing that's going to happen are those fog lights are coming out. I just do not like those. They look like shit. So I'm going to take those off. And, you know, like I said, I've got an appointment for the transmission shop. I'm going to get a new set of rim and tires. I think I'm just going to go with a set of nice chrome. Uh, you know, five spoke, like your traditional Krager rims, uh, going up to a 16 inch tire. So I'll be able to sell these rims and get a little bit of money back. Um, but yeah, man, broke my heart to put my convertible outside, but I've got a nice cover for it. Um, but now this girl's going to be sitting in here, so I can spend some time and work on her a little bit give me something to do this next year so cool all right guys uh i'll talk to you later <laughs>